back fancy beauty symbols it's Gina coming in with another video so I am now applying moisturizer to my face and this is the Nivea you guys know I'm totally in love with this since my girl Savannah hooked me up with it it has done so many wonderful things to my skin let me tell you that okay Next, we are going to manicure these wow eyebrows. And I don't know if you guys are interested in me doing a separate video on how I keep my brows maintained and all of that. So here, I'm just gonna give you a quick snippet of it. And I'm just going through with a regular eyebrow razor and I'm just going in and just kind of cleaning up and taking those hairs away that I don't want to be there. And if you guys do want to see a detailed video on how I do my brows, let me know that in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that video. So I'm going to go in with Great Lash and it is a brow gel. And I happened on this technique because I was kind of bored and I was getting sick of my brows not coming out as close to being twins as possible. <laughs> So I did this trick and I absolutely love it. And then I can go in and do whatever detailing I want done to my brows so that they come out on point. So I'm just taking any brown and I'm taking that through the sparse areas of the hairs in my eyebrows. And then I'm gonna go in with a black and that's just going to be ombre you guys i've talked about this before so yeah that's the only thing that i'm going to do on this particular part and i'm using feather strokes just to make sure that they look as close to natural as possible if that makes sense because nobody brows looks like this for real for real Alright, so now we're just going in with that darker pencil like I spoke about earlier and I start underneath to just kind of outline it and then do the same thing on the top part and take my spoolie and just kind of brush that product throughout the rest of my brows and taking my favorite which is the LA Pro Concealer and we're going to use that to clean everything up and take away any errors that I may have made. And then I'm taking my Wonder Sponge, which I absolutely love, and just going through and blending that out. Taking that spoolie again, and I'm just kind of making that front of the brow as perfect and as realistic as I possibly can. And for the most part, I, I'm pretty satisfied with how I do my brows now. Now I'm taking my NYC translucent powder and I'm using that as a setting powder for the concealer that I put on. And my favorite base is the MAC Soft Ochre and I'm using that on my lids. And this is just going to make my eyeshadow pop and come through as flawless as I can possibly get them. 
<laughs> and I'm using Morphe, the 24G palette. And I am in love with this palette. This is the first time that I've used this palette. I was waiting to debut it on the channel first with you all so I can make sure that you can see the pigmentation to see how it performs. And I have to say, this palette is everything. You can take this one palette and travel with it if you need to go somewhere. Yes, it's on the larger side as far as, you know, being compact and that sort of thing. But it has all of the colors that you need in there for a neutral look. Especially if you're into not having so much color and you just like a really, really natural fancy beauty. This palette is on point it's going to give you everything that you need so as you can see I'm just going in with different colors and just using a gradient effect to make sure everything is going to blend together well I'm using the concealer trick which is going to help me cut that crease as precise as I want it to be and then I'm just going to go in with the end of that LA girl and just magnify the intensity that I want that cut crease to be in other words how large I want that cut crease to go because I have hooded lids I need it to be exaggerated and this helps me to do that so going back in with those same colors that I used before just to intensify that crease area and going in with this beautiful champagne color. Guys, this color is so pretty and it's so soft and elegant. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this color and use that on my brow underneath that area and this is just gonna make everything come together like I want it to look. And following through on my lash line and I'm doing the exact same thing as I did on top and just making sure everything is popping so now I did my lashes off camera I ain't ready for that yet y'all <laughs> and now it's time for your favorite part it's modelization time don't forget give me a big thumbs up share my videos and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much, Fancy Beauties and Bows. And as always, you better stay fancy. Trying to catch the beat, make up your heart